So if you have a compatible Garmin watch and also do strength training, you're in luck. Today we will study how to create a strength workout and transfer it to your watch. First, we'll head off to Garmin Connect. Here you can select a workout from predefined workout. There is a quite large selection. But we'll create a new one. So we'll click on create workout. Then we'll choose strength. You already have a template of a warm up, a workout and a cool down. Let's click on the warm up and let's choose an exercise. I like to warm up with a jump rope. So we'll select this one. Now we'll change the target type. We'll change the target type to time and we'll choose five minutes. Then we'll go back. For this purpose, I will remove the cooldown. Now uh, we can uh, choose a workout or we can add a round. I prefer to add a round. Now I can choose how many sets I want. So we'll choose four sets. Now we'll choose the exercise. Again, if I click on the exercise, I have a large selection. We'll look for a squat. So here we have squat. We'll change the weight. Mine is in kilos. We'll choose 50 kilos. Oh, it was 5 kilos. So we'll choose 50 kilos. And we'll leave the target type as uh, reps. And we'll leave the target as 10 reps. By the way, if you click on the target, you can see several types. You can choose heart rate, reps, times, a lap uh, button, and whatever you would like. I, I will reduce the reps to 8. And I have the rest timer. I prefer it to be time. And let's say that we want to recover more than one minute. We'll change it to one and a half minutes. Now we have our first exercise, the weighted squat. Now let's choose another exercise. Okay, here we'll choose deadlift. We'll change the intensity and the weight. We'll choose the reps. And now we also will change the timer to two minutes. After you create all of your workout, you will see the muscle heat map. In red, you would see all the primary muscles that are being targeted and in yellow, all the secondary. So you can create more balanced workout that way. Here you can see that I cover most of my muscle groups with the exclusion of the abdominals. So I believe it's a fairly balanced uh, workout. Now, now all we need to do is to click the phone icon. Now we will send it to a device. Here you can see the list of compatible devices. I have only the Phoenix 6 Pro, which is compatible with this type of uh, workout. Now, the next time my uh, Phoenix 6 will sync with Garmin Connect, I expect to see it on the watch. So let's head over to the watch. Now we'll click the top right button. We we'll choose strength. Then we'll go to the original name that we uh, gave this workout, which is called strength workout. Here you can view the steps. You can see here we have five minutes of a jump rope. Then we have the weighted squats and the rest. And then we need to repeat it four times. Now we can click do the workout. While we do the workout, if we want to skip to the next step, we can click on the bottom right button and it will automatically skip to the next set or exercise. Garmin will try to automatically detect the reps and I find it quite accurate and you always have a preview of your next set. If you reach, in this case I reached to the four out of four sets, I can see now that the next exercise changed to be deadlifts. So now I need to do eight reps of deadlifts with 70 kilos. By the way, during an exercise, you can click on the bottom left button and you can edit the reps if the watch didn't recognize the reps uh, quite good. And also you can edit the weight. 
This will affect the total volume that will be uh, calculated in your Garmin Connect app and then you can compare it to other workouts. By the way, if you uh, go to the latest activities after you complete a strength uh, session, you can see now that the timer is only 16 minutes and 30 seconds, but the workout, the actual time took about uh, 45 minutes. That, that's because I had the uh, rest periods, which are not calculated here. If I'll go and view the stats, I can go to sets and see each individual set and the volume of the weights and reps. The only downside here that I see is that exercise name is missing. And I think it's something that Garmin could easily uh, implement. Don't forget to check out more tutorials, especially Garmin tutorials. I will link them all in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.